Hey, it's Kevin. Thanks for coming by for another Road Warrior video blog. And I don't think I've talked about this in the Road Warrior. If I have, just skip ahead or come back next week. Uh, I think I actually talked about this on my Mason Minute podcast. I think I only developed, you know, kind of delved into it for a minute. We, we've got a problem in Nashville now, especially, I don't say in my neighborhood, but near me because I live near the, the Opry Mills Mall, the old Opryland amusement park that they turned into a shopping mall years ago. And, and because of Nashville's boomtown status, because Nashville is becoming a very popular city, 100 people now moving in each and every day, and that includes the, the people who leave. So basically, we gain 100 people a day. So we probably have 150, maybe 120 moving in a day and lose a few people, but 100 plus people a day moving to Nashville each and every day of the year right now. Craziest thing I, I'd ever heard of. But we have a problem with kids stealing cars. Now, I don't know if this is they're stealing cars because they're stealing cars because they can, because they want to, because the crime is fun, or if there's a purpose behind it. But a lot of times, people will get robbed at the Opry Mills Mall. They'll steal their car. They'll go take it to another part of town, drop it off there, steal another car. And it's kind of like, you know, that's what they do for fun, I guess. I don't know if they go out and rob banks or whatever it is, too, with the stolen cars. But we have a big, on our side of town, problem with stolen cars. And it's always made me wonder, the same thing with people breaking into houses and things like that, why people just don't lock their doors. You know, and I'll never forget, when we finally went to electric locks, you know, in our cars, when, when I mean, I couldn't even tell you the last time I had a manual lock in a car. Maybe the, the Jeep I had for a couple of years is one of my toy cars. But I mean, I really can't remember the last time I had to re, you know, reach over and, and grab the, the lock kind of thing so my wife could get in the car. Remember doing that growing up? You'd have to reach over, grab the lock, and let somebody in. <clears throat> yeah, times have changed. But now you figure the minute I put the car in reverse, put the car in drive, whatever it is, my doors automatically lock. So the first thing I do when I get into a car, I turn it on and I put it in gear immediately. Even if it's just neutral, doors lock. That way somebody can't jump in. Now, there's always the possibility that somebody could be in the back seat or whatever, but I've already looked by then. I mean, I do check and I do stay very well aware of my surroundings. Now, I don't for a minute think that they're not necessarily going to target a guy my size. It's not to say they don't, but it's a lot easier with a woman, with someone who's elderly, you know, an easier target, if you will. But what's amazing to me is a lot of times, too, when cars get stolen, people will stop somewhere, put their car in park, leave the keys running, whether it's at a convenience store, whether it's at a, a, the mall, and a, whatever it is, just run in for something and leave their keys in the car. There are people who leave their keys in the car when it's at their house. I'm like, man, I know exactly where my keys are at any one given moment. I've got a special place for them, a special hook for them in my house. I know where each and every one of my sets of keys for each individual cars are. I keep, uh, you know, I, I, it's almost like I, I have a nervous habit. But even when I was at work back in the old days, I used to keep my keys in my door lock so I knew where they were. It's kind of the thing. People knew if I was in the office, my door would be open and the keys would be in. So they know I was somewhere in the office and that's where they stayed. I never lost my keys. I never misplaced my, I, I misplaced my keys once at work. Back when I first started in Ohio, um, I was, had just started there and I didn't have an office necessarily locked, but I had my car keys and I'd laid them in the studio when I was on the air and put them on a turntable and my engineer had come in and done something while I was in the bathroom and moved my keys and didn't tell me. Oh my gosh, I panicked. Finally found him. He finally fessed up what he'd done. He'd forgotten he'd done it. He claims it wasn't for a joke, but I think it was. But man, there was a couple hours worth of panic when I couldn't find my keys. Once I got that locking door, they always stayed in the, in, in the lock. I've always got a place for the keys. I don't understand why people don't lock their car doors, why people don't lock their homes. And, and it's not just a, I'm, I'm necessarily worried about living in a bad neighborhood, worried about crime or anything like that. It's truly just about safety, period. It, to me, it's much more safer than not doing it. Again, it's one of those things, I've always been kind of cautious of that. It's not like when you're in college, you, you know, I mean, I guess we did leave our doors open when, when we wanted people to just come on by. But for the most part, my door was always locked, always closed. Maybe just me being a private person, I kind of ran it that way. I'm not quite sure what it was. Well, doors are locked now, so we're safe. We're good to go. Lock your doors. Back next week with another Road Warrior. If you found us on Facebook, come on back there. Found us on YouTube. Hey, again, wherever it's most convenient for you to watch. Facebook, YouTube, we post them up each and every week there as well. Also, of course, our main home, the easiest place to find us, KevinMason.us. You know, bringing the road warrior to you is traveling all, all throughout the U.S. Nine times out of ten, we're in Tennessee, but 
Um, that's just I haven't gotten out of the state a whole lot lately. But come on by. Check out the Road Warrior again next week. Each and every week, brand new Road Warrior for you. I thank you for coming by. I appreciate you coming by. Ask you to tell a friend. Back next week. Thanks.